Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Fummy in the Philippines. Well, the rain has stopped, you beauty. Well, I wanted to get all that back area mode yesterday afternoon, but the rain decided no. Not to worry. Okay, so a little bit of an update. So, the turkey sitting over here, we heard a little baby crying out last night. And um, Chick said to me, there's something going on over there. So we got in, had a look, and there was a young in there. But it was um, nearly out of its shell, nearly. But um, being on the ground, the ground was so cold and it was so wet. And this thing's just going, oop, oop. Whatever fucking noise they make, you know. So um, we ended up picked him up, and I put him inside the chicken that's sitting on the um, smoker. So I don't know if he survives. Let's go and have a look. I don't know if he survived because he was pretty, he was pretty cold. Nah, no, nah, yeah. He was wet and cold. Yep. Let's tell all these bastards. It's the first time they've had youngins. These ones. The first time. Oh, well. that's a shame. Idiots on the fucking cold, wet ground. Bastards. Oh well. Kind of bad luck, I suppose. You know, but as we tried, you know, putting her under, putting her underneath this mama here. You know. Hey, gorgeous. Keeping her under this mama here, because it's warm as hell. But I think it was just too late. Hello, good morning. Right. Where's all my feed containers? Ah, oh, well, it's coming on to six o'clock. So, Mama's on new feed now. Now, when the, when the ag guys come out, okay, we see them up the road up here, you know, talking to the um, people at the Sorry Sorry store here. And that's when we went past, they yelled out, yelled out to us and uh, said, I want to come and have a look at your goats, if you can, because they've got a goat program where, you know where they, they gave out 100 pigs, okay? They gave out 100 pigs, and we, were the, we got the last pig, who was the runt of the litter, and she turned out the biggest of the fucking lot. And, um, he says, oh, I want to see your goats. He said, we started up a program after the pigs. He said, where we give our goats to the um, farmers. That's the poor farmers. Like us. Poor. And um, he said, we gave out 20 goats. He said, but they've all only had one baby each. They only had one kid. And uh, he said, looking at yours, you have um, twins and um, triplets. And so that's what they were discussing it. How does chick look after the goats what does she do to feed them of a morning and you know how she cares for them and blah 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 because you can't just get a goat and tie it to a fucking tree like i say all the time and that's what these people think you know they think oh it's a goat i'll tie it here to the tree and i'll eat the grass well it doesn't fucking work that way you know there's a lot involved when you're a uh, farmer and like we're, we're not vegetable farmers you know we're not vegetable farmers you know we're um farmers for goats and pigs and turkeys the chickens, we're livestock farmers, so um, chick's breeding program is very, very good. So they come to get information off of her. They also pass around that um, if people want goats, they actually, people go to them and say, hey, do you know who's got goats? And I always recommend chick chick, all the time. Hello, little mama, two little babies. Okay, fix you up into a hotel after. Right, so mama Pete. Oh. So, Mama Pig, when I had a look at her, oh, fuck my dog. Double fuck my dog. Or Chinese dolls. So, when I had a look at Mama Pig, hey, hey, hey. God, fuck my dog. So, when I had a look at Mama Pig, they, um, she told me her artificial insemination, blah, 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 blah. And um, they said, Oh, well, we'll just have a look at it for you, ma'am. And she goes, yep, she's pregnant. She said, boy, her titties are changing. So, um, it's like, oh, okay. So apparently her titties are starting to form. So they said that means she's pregnant. So we're quite pleased with that. So hopefully the AI did work. Oh, big shout out to Tropical Tim in the Philippines with his lovely wife, Ray. I'm going to put their video up here at the end screen. Go and have a look, guys. This video is what they've done for one of the local schools. Well, well worth watching, I tell ya. Well, well worth watching. So go and have a look at the end screen, Tropical Tim in the Philippines, and see what they've done for one of the local schools in his area, on the island. 
Hi, gorgeous. You are right? Right, now, Mama. Mama's got mash now because she's pregnant. Okay. Oh, oh fuck my dog. Right, Mama's got mash now, so... We'll add some water to it. Put our spoon here. And here we go. This is how we make up the mash. No, we don't put our hands in it. We've had some helpers here put their hands in and try and mix it by hand and it's like... No, we have spoons, boy. Boy, we have spoons. Oh, are you hungry, girlfriend? We'll mix up this tucker look. Okay, so she gets the weight, dry weight is what's required. And of course, when you mix water with that, that makes it even more. But we still take it up to the dry weight. Oh, yeah. Now, she's not bad. Mm. Now, now, she's not bad. Now, if, if she's like, oh, mama pig, that bitch is trying to f stick this in. So what I used to do was grab hold Hi darling, grab hold of this like so, and I'll feed it down the sh chutes. But she is quite good actually. I don't have a problem with her. So you just tip it straight down. I can tip it straight down, which is good. Right. And what I used to do with Mama Pete, a little bit of water. What I do with Mama Pig then is that this will go down here to wash it, wash it out the trough. There you go. How simple is that, guys? Do I, girlfriend? Mmm, yummy. I'll come back and wash it after. Yummy. So that's what we do with the mash, and that's why I have these feed ones that I made up and put in because they bloody work. Because Mama Pig. Her bloody, her head used to go fucking like this everywhere. And it'd be like, you're trying to put it over there and it's there, put it over there and it's there. And half the time it'd end up all over their head. So the best thing to do is to put the tubes in. And it worked quite well. I'm very pleased. Right. <laughs> so don't forget, go to Tropical Tim video, guys. Seriously, you want to have a look at that. Him and his lovely wife, Ray, have done a great job at the school. And uh, very, very pleased. Very, very pleased. Right, so I've got to see if I can get all this cut today. So I'll wait until after breakfast, maybe the dew will lift up because it was just too wet yesterday. So the goats will eat all the grass around here, but once it turns to seed, they won't eat it. So it's the same as the back. I trim around the fence each week, and then once a fortnight then, I cut the whole lot down. And uh, that seems to work very, very well. So we'll do that today on the Aussie farm in the Philippines, keeping the place clean. Oh, morning, Shagalot. Morning. It's good. His mama with her two babies. His blind guy. There you go. Where's my guy? Where's my guy? Oh, you're down already. Good on you, mate. Normally can't navigate. He's the one-eyed fella. Right, I'll go and get the key. I'll let these out and um, get them all fed. Morning, guys. It's great having a farm, guys, I tell you. Like, um, you hear, you hear some of the trolls will say, oh, you know, that fucking wanking Aussie can't leave the farm. He's committed to the farm. He's married to the farm. He can't leave the farm. Well, that's, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Like, look at it now. It's just on six o'clock now, I'd say. And look at this. Look at my morning. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. I couldn't imagine not doing this. I just could not imagine not doing it in retirement. You know, it's so peaceful and quiet. Morning, I. I always gone down to the shop, down to the local Surrey Surrey store. Right, right. I'll be back at you later on. Okay, feed time. Let's get them going. Right, so they have one of these containers full. This is with um, chicken grower. These ones, chicken grower and my hammered cracked corn. 
that I make up. There you go. Morning, big girl. Right. What a lovely day. Seriously, beautiful day. Morning. Who would never give this up? Never give this up. Uh, all the recycle bins are empty. You got a guy in. Oh, you got a guy in the other day. The other day, bloke. The other day. You got a guy in the other day, and um, he came and picked up everything for us. So one with general paper stuff in it, plastic, glass, and metal is what we have. So they come and stack it all up, and uh, they weigh it, and um, they pay you for it, and off they go. But what we do is we wait till the end. We don't tell him. So we've got the boy from in the village, a young fella, and we said, said to him, find, find a trash and treasure guy and we'll give you half of what we receive. So the boy did, he got this guy up and he got the guy on a pedal bark. He can't even afford a motorbike, it was the pedal one. So uh, he turned up. Oh, fuck. So he turned up and um, sorted it all out, took all the bottles, the cans, the plastics that he can sell, all that stuff. Then he says, right, that's um, 300 and something peso. And Chick goes, all right, here, boy, here's 150 for you. And get to the guy, to the guy, Chick said, here, you can keep that. And we also flipped him another 100 as well. Oh, because he stacked up into bags. He stacked up into bags what um, he can't... He can't buy and sell. So uh, for his time, we gave him an extra 100 as well. So in actual fact, he was quite pleased. He rode out of here with um, a few hundred peso, which is uh, bloody good for them, actually. Bloody good. Morning. Oh. Where's my key? Here we go. Keep this locked up of the night time, of course. Why? Because people fucking steal things here. Uh. So they're free range, plus they get fed three times a day. So they'll get um, this full up of a morning for breakfast, they'll get that at night time. And at lunch they'll get one of these filled up of um, cooked rice. We cook up rice especially just for them. So um, I'll stop it. It actually works, guys. It works. Oh. There you go. Cranky Silver. How you going, bitch? Cranky Silver. Oh, you're a bitch. Little Whitey, what are you doing? Let's take Silver out. Silver, go. Come here, you. Come here, little white. Little white one's tame as anything. Yeah, but wait, relax, relax. There you go. Relax. There you go. Okay, there you go. Relax. Mm. Bloody silver's cr such a cranky bitch, I'll tell you. All right, lights off. All right. Oh. Let's have a look over here. Hello, psycho mother. How are you and your babies? So they stay in here until they get older. Because otherwise they they die. So they stay in there. Uh, this is a sick bay one, this one here. So they're coming much better, but this little one, two of them can come out actually. This big one here, she's blind. She's blind as a bat. Blind as a bat. And of course, this is a big shag a lot. Look at the size of this bastard. He is fucking massive. He's on steroids. Seriously. Look at the size of him. Look at the size of my hand to him. He is massive. Hey, get on nicely, please. All right, give him, he has the mixed food as well. Little ones can't, little ones can't digest corn, guys. They can't digest corn, the little baby ones. So they can eat it, but it gets stuck in their system and it blocks them up. 
and when it blobs up when the, when the corn corn they can eat but they can't they can't digest it out so of course the old saying if you don't shit if you don't shit you die is the old saying isn't it? and that's what happens to them they get um, their ice holes blocked up all right that's it i'll go and get some baby food now for the babies get them fed then i'll go and water everything so um catch you all later on guys have a great weekend don't forget tropical tim in the tropical tim video what he's done at the school you'll be very very amazed well worth watching guys seriously go and have a look subscribe to his channel hit the like button and pass on his videos to others so they can see and share as well all right guys catch you later